All right, in this video series, I've showed you how to build like a Meet My Classmates app. And it takes data from a spreadsheet, shows all the students in the class. Um, you can choose, you know, one of the one of the students and, and see their, you know, additional information about them. And you can kind of next through and um, do that kind of stuff. You can get to a map and you can also input information. Well, right now, the information, you know, it all comes from a spreadsheet. So our database, is just a Google sheet, okay? And right now the administrator can enter URLs for the pictures of the people, um, but it has to be a URL. That's the only way to enter it is to go to the web and somehow grab, you know, grab the URL. And, and the user can do the same thing by entering an image URL when they, when they try to add a student. Okay, what I'm gonna show you is how to use a third party tool, Cloudinary, um, which will serve as our kind of a cloud database where we can store image files. You can also do sound files there, there as well. But it's really important because this gives you a way to do posting apps where people post pictures and either take it with a camera or choose from their photo library and you can store, the, you know, store them for you and Cloudinary gives you a URL back which you can then use. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and, and, and do it. And so I'm gonna go back into edit mode and um, you know, I'm gonna go to the uh, student screen and I'm gonna add two components. One is called MediaDB. And this is the way we connect to that Cloudinary tool I'm talking about. But it's really, this is where we can store our media, media database, right? Um, and the other thing I want is a photo um, library. So the user can you know, choose a photo and it's a real simple to use com component. So that, that's what I need. In my user interface, I'm going to add a button that allows them to kind of open up the photo library. Okay, so um, I'm going to go over here, get rid of that search term, and add a button. I'm going to add it right below here. Whoops, sorry, didn't get it in the right place, but let's see if I can get it there. One more down. Ah. And if you have trouble moving these things, it's always better to move it from the left screen over here. And I want it right below the image URL. Okay, so anyway, that button's going to say, or choose an image, okay? All right, so either they can enter the image URL or choose an image. I'm going to add a little bit of margin below. Um, so I'm going to add, I don't know, 8% here. And, and so just to separate the areas, okay? So either enter in an image URL or choose an image. And I'm going to rename this button as well to the choose image button. Okay, so I think we got our interface set up. We got our components. If we go to the blocks, um, this is for when they finally submit, right? When they get all the information and they click submit. But I'm also gonna you know, add a, a new event handler for choose image button when they click that. And our goal is really take the image they choose, stick it in the media database, get the URL back, and then use that URL, you know, stick it in to this image URL text box. And then when they submit, we'll use that, that URL. Okay, so on the choose image button dot click, first thing, of course, just there's a select photo function, which is the only function in photo library. Um, so it's just gonna open the photo library for the user. They can either choose a picture or cancel. Okay, and you'll notice there's, there's three parameters that come back the photo, if things are cool, uh, did user cancel, and, and if there's an error, okay? So we're gonna have to deal with those three things. If things are good, we're gonna actually upload the file we get back to the media DB, okay? And we're gonna wanna stick the photo, media is the actual file that we wanna store there, okay? And we're gonna get back a media URL, a URL we can, we can save in our database, right? Which is, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so, but we do need an if statement here, all right? So we need to make sure that they didn't cancel and there was no error when they selected a photo. Okay, so I'm going to use logic and there's an and button. So I want to actually ask two questions. Okay, and uh, my two questions are going to be, you know, both kind of not questions. So I'm going to grab a not block as well. And I'm going to copy that twice. And essentially what I want to say, if they didn't cancel and there's not an error, then we want to do this file save. 
you know, and I should probably put, you know, like stick something in a label, some status for an else here, if there is a problem. But for now, let's just, let's just say if things are good, let's go ahead and up, upload the file. Now, when they do, when we, if the things go good and we do upload the file to Cloudinary, we also want to stick the URL that we get back into the thing that is called, let's see, image URL text input. Okay, we want it to show up there. Okay, so I'm going to go grab um, image URL text input and the get text, or sorry, set text. And what I want to do is I want to set that text to the URL that Cloudinary returns to me. Okay, so if things are good, let's upload it, send it the file, get back a URL, and then we'll stick that URL into our text box. Okay, I think we're I think we're doing doing pretty good. Now, this is not going to work out of the box. Okay, and in fact, I've got to set my um, properties for my MediaDB component, and there's three pro properties for it. But you need to get those from from Cloudinary, okay? And I'll show you how to do that in the in the next video.